This is a once in a multi-generation opportunity. If we were to build these three projects, we're talking about thousands of jobs and over $20 billion of investment into the Australian economy. Well, really, why not Newcastle is more the question. We've been powering New South Wales in our region and we're going to continue to do that. That's our optimism, but we're going to do it with different forms of energy now. I obviously want the Gunnar Kernot people to be recognised and valued in the industry and, and, and seeing their future as, as, it, um, as it evolves. It's part of our future as it is part of everyone's future. And there is huge enthusiasm in the region for this mm. as a, in a supply chain sense. Um, and it won't only be the hunt, it'll be a national approach to how we do this in terms of supporting supply chain. I know that we're going to have to scale and we're going to have to get there and it's going to need, you know, federal government, state governments, wind proponents, capital investment to do it. But there's no reason why we can't shoot for the stars with this. I don't think people understand the urgency with which it needs to happen and the planning that needs to happen in it to get there. We, we've got your lawn power station due for closure in 2028. That's, that's just around the corner. The question I get asked the most is, why haven't they started building yet?